Hey guys, Gary Dean with DetailJuice.com. I'm here to present my brand new Grip Launch Recon Rescue Soap. This is my entry level line that's available on DetailJuice.com and basically you're gonna find that it has a far lower cost of entry than the other lines in my range. So the benefit to that is it's less costly to get into. Now you'll find far better value per use in my other lines. However, if you want amazing products that aren't expensive to get into, the Grip Launch line is exactly what you're looking for. So, soap, nothing weird, nothing fancy. I've got a gallon of water in the bucket. Now I like to do my traditional washes very much like I do the Gary Dean wash method. Now I'm pre-soaking towels in the bucket with a soap solution instead of a rinseless wash solution. And that's really the only difference between the two is the solutions that you use. And if you use a regular soap, you're going to get some suds. Now, I know a lot of you guys love the foam cannon. You know, I'm not a fan. I feel like it's a waste of soap. I don't think it does enough to really benefit wasting all that soap, but that's just my opinion. And everybody else has got one, so why can't I have my own? So, as far as the soap goes, I'm gonna show you that it makes amazing suds. You can use it in a foam cannon if you want. Now, the way I usually run my washes is, I put a gallon of water in a bucket, I put, with this soap, it's an ounce to a gallon. So if you're doing the Gary Dean wash method, you're only gonna use an ounce of soap. In fact, you could probably use less, but my recommendation and the bottle says one ounce per gallon. So to do that, you're gonna put three capfuls, three capfuls of the soap in the gallon of water. And you can hit it with the water and it's going to foam up really nice. And I'll show you that in just a second. But first, I want to show you that you can use it in a foam cannon, no problem. So this is an AR Blue Clean, just the uh, 112S uh, that I'm going to use, the pressure washer, and this is their AR foam cannon. So. I've already pre-measured, but two ounces is basically where this line is right here on the bottom. So what I'm gonna do is pull the top back off and I'm just gonna fill it to that line. This is a 32 ounce uh, bottle. So we're gonna just fill it to that two ounce mark right there. Put the cap back on. Then I'm going to fill this bottle with water you to see I'm not adding anything to that <laughs> that's funny should have a bloop <laughs> I did it again should have a blooper reel just gotta get the there we go now it's pouring Maybe, there we go. There we go. Now we're cooking with fire. I had the adapter for the pressure washer on there. That's why I'm not using the sprayer, but. Anyway, you fill it up with water just like I'm doing to the 32 ounce mark, which is right there. I'm gonna go ahead and put this cap back on here. So I don't have water going all over the place. All right, golden. Now, you can see I've been using the perfect soap in this. Well, I used to when I did some demos for you guys in other videos. But anyway, this is it. Make sure it's all blended throughout. Attach it to your wand on your pressure washer. Two ounces of soap with uh, 30 ounces of water. I'm gonna show you how awesome this stuff is at foam.
There you go. Thick, luxurious suds. And that is the uh, grip launch soap. Now, I'm gonna show you real quick the difference between using it in a foam cannon and using it in your wash bucket, which it's about the same. But with the wash bucket, I don't know if you can see it. I'll position it where you can. We have three capfuls of soap in the bucket. And awesome, awesome suds that will last you through the whole wash. Now, you pre-soak your towels. And the same thing with the pre-soak, uh, well, it should be a little different. What I mean, what I'm getting at is, when you do the Gary Dean wash method, uh, modified to be a traditional wash, your hose or your pressure washer is gonna be your pre-soak. So you're not gonna use a product per se unless you are going to foam cannon it. It's up to you. So you can use the, the actual soap as your pre-rinse uh, for the foam cannon and then go into your wash if you'd like, or you can just use the water, which is what I prefer, and then use your soap uh, for the wash. So now I've got the pre-rinse down. You could go right after your foam and just knock off all the dirt and make sure there's no heavy dirt and grime on there before you go into washing, but you'll pull a clean towel out. I just use microfiber towels for my traditional washes. I don't fold them either. You can, uh, you'll get the most out of them, but I put probably eight or 10 towels in there for this, and that's how I do it. And then at this point, once you've used four sides of the towel or two sides or however you decide you were gonna use it, it's washed now, so now you just rinse it off. Now I'm using deionized water from all Florida water. So if you're in the uh, if you're in Florida and you want a DI setup, uh, you can call all Florida water. And in some of my other other videos, you've seen the the 800 number they have. But uh, Google all Florida water if you're in Florida and get yourself a deionized water setup. You can let this water just dry right there on the car no problem no spots nothing if your di tanks are uh still in service which means they're just not spent so that has been i should say this has been the brand new grip launch soap from detailjuice.com if you got any questions you can call me on my cell send me a text message whatever you want 813-846-4406 you can also check me out on Facebook, send me a message there if you'd like, or check out Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. It's a group on Facebook where we only talk about my products, my processes, and what I've got going on. So if you wanna be a part of something bigger than detailing and basically just get other people's opinions on the products and talk about the products with other people besides myself, check out the group, we'll let you in, you can get rolling, and then if you've got questions beyond that, feel free to contact me directly. Thank you guys so much for your trust and support, and thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day.